Hi. I'm here to talk about attrition, a war of attrition. That's what we're under right now. We're in a war. Nobody's really mentioned it, talked about it. We hear complaints about the C word, um, the C thing that's going on. I'm going to tell you from my own understanding and experience that the, the, a war of attrition is a wearing down, a wearing down of a people. Give them a hard time. You know, life is hard enough for everyone all the time. We're living in a downfallen world, a world um, that is a place of hardship because of sin. Um, we're in a fallen state. I often talk about the difference between the world of man and the world of the Creator God. The world of the Creator God is everything natural, and the world of man is taking nature and changing it, um, and usually destroying nature to make something that mankind's ego thinks is good. Now, in a war of attrition, the First Nations people and the Native Americans and every other Native person on the face of the earth at this time, the indigenous peoples, they have been under attrition for a really long time. It wasn't until 1962 in Canada that um, people didn't have to get a note from the Indian agent or, or some kind of uh, governing body to leave their reserves to actually go out and get work and um, just have the freedom to go back and forth whenever they wanted. And right now what we see is we see um, this same type of attrition coming to everyone that lives in America and everyone that lives all over the earth. This is such a strange thing. People are giving up their liberty and their freedom to, out of fear. Fear is a lack of faith. Um, they're giving out their, giving up their freedom, and uh, they're going to be locked down. Um, we're in these constant lockdowns. So I remember the prophecies when I'm thinking about this. Um, Native Americans have prophecies, and they should be sharing them with people. And those prophecies say that there's coming a time when the people of Turtle Island are going to rise up and help the people that came over to this land to learn new ways of living and new ways of surviving. Instead of fighting, we should be focusing on this. Um, in the in the Bible, and I'm a Christian, so I'm going to talk about the Bible, and I talk about God all the time, and if you don't like it, you don't have to listen, so that's fine. Um, but in the Bible, Daniel 7, you can read that chapter, and it's talking about attrition in another way. I'm not going to go into all the details and read it right now. I'm just trying to give the world a hint that you're in a world and a war of attrition. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, in order to turn that around to your benefit and good, um, think of a diamond and let your light shine. Help other people. Stop fighting all the time with everyone. Um, we are all human beings, and we're all here struggling together. And I think that when love enters, and um, you realize that we're all related, our pro <laughs> I grew up learning that we were all related. Where does that go when we're having these screaming fights? about our different ethnic groups and about how much we don't like one another and calling up the past. Yes, we have a history. Yes, we have had really hard times. But if I was sitting in a room and I'm asking someone to share their story, everyone has a hard story. Everyone comes from a past where there's a a, a group of ancestors standing there that have died and sacrificed for you to be here at this time. 
They want you to be the very best you could be. I don't think they want to see the hatred on your face. They wanted you to grow up in love and to share that with others. And that's how you're going to survive. So I have a little uh, thought that I want to leave you with. I actually wrote this as a story at one point, but I um, don't know where that is right now. So I'm just going to tell you about a pot of water sitting on the stove. Everybody can relate to a pot of water. You are one drop in that pot. One drop of water in that pot is you. The Creator has put all of us in this pot. The Creator is in charge of the elements. The Creator is the stove. The Creator turns the pot of water on. And the elements start to um, heat up the pot. And the steel reacts. And the water starts to react. At first... And from the bottom, and I keep thinking that, you know, it's the poor that are suffering the most right now. So what happens is all of a sudden a little bubble comes up. That's one person that couldn't handle what's happening around them right now in that pot of water. Maybe they committed suicide. Maybe they overdosed. Maybe they had a heart attack. Maybe some other tragedy struck them. And then that pot of water, more bubbles start bubbling up. And that's somebody else that's gone off and maybe harmed other people because the bubbles start to get a little bigger. Some of these bubbles join together to grow stronger. These are gangs and groups and corrupt peoples. And that pot of water keeps boiling and it gets bigger and bigger. That's the anger that we're seeing on the streets all over the world and the protests. And then that pot is coming to a ro rolling boil. Things are not getting better. But all of that water, some of the water rises up and becomes steam. And that's what you're supposed to be. If you have to change and transform, do it in a good way. Rise up in a good way and become the steam. For those that are waiting for Christ to return and gather up his people, his bride, you are the steam and you're going to rise up in a good way. But you're supposed to be sharing and caring for others and loving others. Um, so instead of letting this war of attrition um, rub you the wrong way, turn it around. Reach out. Reach out. Everyone is a human being. We're supposed to be helping each other. It doesn't matter which, um, how you choose to serve God. Or even if, if you don't serve God, there's a lot of people that are good people. Um, I'm not saying... <laughs> Anyway, I'll just go there. They're just good people and, and can do good things. So um, understand that you're in a war of attrition. And in some of the prophecies from Turtle Island, it says that we're going to help people to um, figure out how to survive in different ways and know that there's a lot of privileged people. They've been privileged for a long time and have had everything that they want. Even the poorest in our countries are still um, better off than a lot of other people in other countries. And now it's like I see it's like people throwing tantrums because they indebted themselves. But that's a whole different topic. Um so, but they're throwing tantrums. So, control your mouth. Control what you're seeing in your eyes. Pray. Put down your tobacco. Open your Bibles. Um, chant. Sing. Be joyful. Give thanks every day for what you have. And share what you have with others. Share the goodness or stay silent. Um change can happen 
But you need to look at your leaders and you need to ask your leaders to be what they're supposed to be. If they're corrupt, you're, the people are going to be corrupt. If they're thieves, the people are going to be thieves. So if you're supporting that, then that's the world that you're going to live in. But we have choices. So understand how you're living, understand what you're living in, change what you can, do your little part each and every day. All things work for God's glory and his good. Um, he's going to make things change. And, um, and I would say repent. <laughs> repent because there's not a lot of time. God's judgment is coming. And it's just starting. So I'll leave you with that. And um, I'll talk to you about something else later. <laughs> anyway, good night. Thank you.